Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the WWDC 17 keynote uh, roundup, the one that happened today, uh, June 5th, 2017. And uh, before you post the comment, because I always get that comment at least a couple of times, why am I posting Apple stuff on the Windows channel? For a simple reason, many of us, including me, have Apple products. And so it's not because you're a Windows user that you're not, not interested in Apple products. So today, of course, a keynote that lasted two hours and 35 minutes, roughly. Uh, started a little late, a few minutes late, but um, interesting. Um, I'd say more interesting than last year. A little less boring. Last year was very boring. Uh, this year, a little more interesting. I, I, I think they tried to, you know, do a little more to uh, keep the interest and have all sorts of little announcements. But of course, nothing major, but a few things that are very, very, uh, in, very interesting in here. So first of all, tvOS. Now, tvOS is the operating system for the Apple TV. We were wondering, will there be a new Apple TV? That's not what they announced. They announced an update to tvOS. And the update to tvOS brings something that now this, I would say, is a little bit of, of an amazement. Uh, Amazon Prime Video will now be available through tvOS. So that means you'll be able to actually rent movies and do what you want with your Amazon Prime Video. So uh, that's kind of a competition here to uh, Apple itself a little bit with, you know, renting of, of uh, movies and TV shows through iTunes. But uh, interesting, nonetheless. And, you know, I think that's an interesting push in trying to make the Apple TV, which has not been selling that well, maybe a little more appealing for most people. Also, Watch OS 4. So, uh, basically, a new updated version of the operating system for watches. Not as many new version uh, features, sorry, as uh, OS 3. But uh, still, uh, Siri-powered watch face users... Uh, uses machine learning to customize your content, uh, smarter controls and measure of workouts and sports, improvements also in connectivity with Bluetooth devices, including um, a upcoming glucose monitor that they just barely scratched the surface with and talked about, but not really showing anything special. Of course, updated animations and um, you know all sorts of uh, little thingies for the Apple Watch. iPad Pro 2 announced with new sizes. So the iPad Pro 2 now is announced with a 10.5 and 12.9 inch sizes as through true tone screen with brighter screen and has a six core A10X Fusion chip. That should give 30% more CPU performance, 40% graphics improvement and new features that are interesting as we will talk about iOS 11 one of the special features of iOS 11 towards the iPad is the fact that you will now have a file manager you'll even be able to drag and drop from one app to the other these are features that were really missing that are very welcome also a new full width keyboard on screen and a full width keyboard cover. They're trying to really push this device as a productivity device to have you work with it, um, not just, you know, um, being a, a regular tablet iPad, basically. Apart from that, we have a refresh of the um, MacBooks, MacBook Pros, and iMacs using the new KB Lake 7th generation. Uh, CPU has 4K and 5K dedicated graphics. There's a new, um, very powerful desktop PC uh, with uh, Retina 4 and 5K, which is the um, iMac Pro, and of course refresh of the iMac, uh, and the MacBook and MacBook Pros with you know upgraded chips. But interesting to see the new iMac Pro that you see here, which is starting at five thousand dollars and has a uh, really really a lot of power in it and of course is um, really the new professional type 
computer basically that they're pushing. Mac OS High Sierra. Now they are not doing a major update to the Mac OS Sierra on Mac computers. Instead, as they say, they opted simply to perfect the um, Mac OS Sierra that was already on PCs, on MacBooks, and of course iMacs. So 10.13 Mac OS I Sierra is a minor update, but bringing all sorts of improvements, including 35% um, less disk space used by mail app. Uh, Safari will block autoplay videos by default, and um, all sorts of little um, you know updates to the Photos app and everything, including on the iPad also. So um, interesting, but uh, nonetheless not that fantastic iOS 11, that is one of the big announcements today, will be available in the fall, has new features and a new look. Apple Pay will now be able to be used by iMessage to another user. So if you want to send something, uh, money to another user, you'll be able to do it with something that's called the Apple Pay Cash Card, which is brand new. So you'll be able to purchase an Apple Pay Cash Bar Card and, of course, fill it up with money and uh, exchange money through that. Uh, new uh, feature. Siri will translate queries into other languages including uh, Chinese, French, Spanish, right now more languages coming up. Uh, pictures will be up to 15%, 50% smaller in size while retaining the high quality when you are actually taking pictures with the camera for example. Redesigned lock screen, that's also something that's very interesting. Notifications panel, a new redesigned app store, totally fresh and new, with a today feature, separate game section, and enables developers to actually phase releases at a pace that they wish to send it out. And um, there's more info on apps, developers themselves. New Maps app will now also not only give you directions, but tell you which lane to stay in if you're on your in your car to go to your destination. Also improved more natural Siri voice, both male and female, and a system that tries to predict what you want to do next. One of the features that's added here that maybe not everybody will like, but I think it's a great idea, do not disturb while, while driving. So basically the do not disturb while driving feature might be annoying for some, but I'm now including in the um, iOS version, and of course it will prompt when it notices you're moving and for that it will actually know with uh, either the Bluetooth by connecting to your uh, car or by what they call Wi-Fi Doppler meaning they'll know when you're moving at a certain f speed but of course you'll be able to bypass the feature for example if you're a passenger of course and uh, so this new feature you know I think is a nice feature that might save lives actually of course that's uh, kind of interesting here when you think about it and um, apart from that of course new home kit support airplay 2 improvements for sharing access a new AR kit for augmented reality that will work directly with a Mac and also new HomePod speaker and the new HomePod speaker is right here it's uh, basically what we were calling Siri speaker is going to be called the HomePod it apparently has tremendously strong and good audio for a device that's very small, less than seven inch tall. It will be um, not only include great audio, but special design with um, a uh, internal design that's uh, pretty amazing when you when you look at how it's actually perfected to make the sounds come out of this thing. And uh, it will be, of course, you'll be able to have uh, a more powerful Siri that will, of course, help you control whatever you want to do and control your favorite music with voice commands. It's available in white and space gray. So this, of course, interesting name, HomePod, but uh, not that bad, actually, if you're thinking that music all started mostly with the, uh, the iPod. And this will be priced at $349. So that's pretty much the biggest announcements, the ones that are worth mentioning of the Apple uh, Keynote. And, uh, of course, interesting stuff. Uh, um, for sure, you know, I think uh, nice refreshes, but 
nothing major and of course the, the, no no talk about iPhones or anything really today this will be happening later this year uh, where they're going to announce new devices so um, pretty much all I have to say about the roundup it was kind of nice kind of interesting uh, contrary to last year where I found it a little boring this year the two hours and 35 minutes that it lasted was actually uh, more interesting to view with all the little demos and everything so that's pretty much what we had to say hope you enjoyed this little apple roundup if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know and thank you for watching